Sean Sewell with ingearmit.com in the beautiful mountains of Colorado, testing out the Oros Atmos hoodie right here. This ain't no regular hoodie though. It may look like a casual hoodie or like a Lululemon style hoodie. It looks like that, but it's actually a fully insulated technical piece. Sneaky, sneaky. A lot of features going on in this hoodie uh, and a lot to cover. So let's get into it. First and foremost, let's go over sizing. I am six foot one, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 210 pounds, 36, 37 on the arms. This is a men's extra large. As you can see, it's an athletic trim fit, but the material stretches very nicely. So it's not restrictive in ranges of motion. Uh, it has a very nice sporty aesthetic to it, which if that's your thing, then fantastic. It'll do great for that but the real secret is in the insulation. So we've worked with Oros before. We did the Orion Parker review last spring. It was the warmest park I've ever tested, and that's saying a lot. At the same time I was testing that, I was testing out 12 to 16 ounce down parkas from very nice manufacturers, and the Orion did as good as those, which is crazy. How that works is it's a different kind of insulation. It's not a down-based or synthetic puffy insulation. It's a closed cell foam esque kind of insulation. They use technology from NASA called Aerogel. Aerogel is not new. Aerogel has been around for a long time. Use it on the space shuttle. Other manufacturers have been incorporated into their insulation. Primeloft brought in some insulation. Uh, Mountain Hardware. Uh, uh, Damien or Rastafarian Ice Fisherman has some ice fishing boots to have it in there. It's a really, really good insulation. And it's very lightweight for the amount of insulation you're getting. And it doesn't really like compress or give up the ghost on anything. It just always works. So Oros took that aerogel technology and developed their solar core, their proprietary insulation. And I gotta tell you, it is super warm. I'm not exaggerating. I am shooting this video at the exact same spot that I shot two other waterproof down jackets. One was a parka basically. And I'm shooting on purpose so you can see the conditions and the temperatures in which I'm using it. And it, this jacket, the Atmos, is as warm, if not warmer than those jackets. Now those jackets are super nice and I, Ranted and raved in those reviews, and they, they still agree that those are great jackets. And I do love down, and I love synthetic for a lot of different reasons. This application is remarkable because you get the aesthetic, right, of a sporty-looking hoodie, but it's actually a full-on technical insulated piece, which is ridiculous. So you can be really kind of incognito. You don't have to look like you're going to the mountain with a shiny jacket or like a crazy parka that still get that warmth. So uh, if you're looking for more of a casual sporty aesthetic and uh, you live in a big city where it's super cold, like maybe close to an ocean or the Great Lakes or something, this could be a good option. And if you need even more warmth, the Orion Parka is legit. In fact, the Orion Park we have a review on. Uh, we did the review last year during the coldest part of the year. Uh, it was negative 10, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, and it did so well that uh, after the review, I reached out to Oros. I said, hey, I really, really like the jacket, but my wife took it. She won't give it back. So they sent her her own jacket. So we have matching Orion parkas. Uh, and we like them so much that we actually went through our gear closet uh, a few weeks ago and gave away most of our down and synthetic parkas, and donated them to charities and gave them to friends and family because we gravitated towards the Orion because it just was warm and it looks stylish. Didn't look like we're going to go to Everest. <laughs> so, uh, nice benefit to having the aesthetic and the stretch and the quiet while still being very, very warm. For reference, I'm sweating right now doing this review and it is all of 39 degrees Fahrenheit. I gotta take this thing off. I gotta get this review done because it is that warm. Temperatures I've tested it in, um, mid 20s. Uh, this morning was 28 degrees Fahrenheit when I turned on the truck. And like I mentioned in some other videos, uh, I know for sure it's 28, but I'm sure it got below that in the middle of the night. We were up at midnight doing some uh, astrophotography and I was wearing this to compare it to other thicker, warm, puffy jackets and it did as well, if not, as, if not better. Credit again to the solar core insulation. So the solar core insulation is throughout the whole entirety of the body, all of the back panel and most of the arm. They leave it out right here, as well as under the arms for some breathability. I'll show you the inside jacket and you can see that solar core insulation. You can see the breathability right there, the patch right there. Thank goodness they incorporated those breathable patches because otherwise I think this jacket will be too warm in my opinion. I'm using over just a t-shirt, a 150 weight wool blend t-shirt and I am cooking. 
So it's an efficient regulator. Uh, it's hard for me to convey uh, this insulation. Um, how it feels, like I mentioned, it's kind of a closed cell kind of feeling. I, I liken it to how your oven mitt might feel or a sleeping pad, right? So this is a technical oven mitt, basically. Uh, but not to, to take away from the credibility of how awesome the jacket is, warm as heck. One of my favorite things about this hoodie, besides the fact that it looks like it's just a hoodie, but is a technical insulated piece, is they didn't skimp on the hood. A lot of jackets kind of don't think about the hood too much. The hood has this very same solar core insulation, and I find it to be as warm as wearing like two beanies. It's super warm. So insulation right here, no adjustability, but good coverage. Yeah, no joke, I actually, I was testing out the air jackets, I wore a beanie because it was in the 20s, but then I took the beanie off and used just this hood and it was warmer than the hoods of other jackets. So it's, it's super warm technology. And then I'm leading up to what I think is the best part of the jacket is the price. It's 240 US. And if you're thinking about this from an insulated piece, there's easily pieces that cost 100, 200 dollars more than this to get this level of warmth. But then they also look like a puffy because they're puffy. This looks like a hoodie, like you would wear to the gym or out casually. So if that is your, your angle, you want that aesthetic, I would absolutely recommend the Atmos for that reason. Get the casual sporty look with warm as heck insulation. Now I would not recommend this for uh, ultralight use or for backpacking or for backcountry skiing or splitboarding. It's, it's just too warm. And also, this insulation doesn't pack up like down and synthetic do. So as much as I've been talking great about this and kind of almost dissing on the other ones, they have their purpose. But if you're in a static environment or in the urban environment or you're not worried about compressibility, not worried about weight, and you want to go for looks and warmth, this would be a good option. So hopefully those insights are helpful. Hopefully seeing it on a person, the sizing, layout, and functions is helpful. If you've got any questions, and I hope you do, put those in the comments below. I'll get right back to you. Uh, we have more stuff coming up with Oros. I have a pair of gloves I've been testing. They're sweet. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see content uh, as quick as possible, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber, I've really appreciated support over the years. I just hit 7,000, so thanks to you. I very much appreciate you. And until next time, Take care.